Yo, what is going on guys? Jakey here. Today I will be showing you guys my Adobe Premiere render settings for YouTube to get the best quality. Um, I use this for all my videos and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So if you guys haven't already watched my how to fix YouTube pixelation video, um, I definitely recommend checking that video out beforehand just to understand the concept that we will be applying today. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link to that in the description below. So yeah, let's get right into it. So when I start a new project, um, let me show you my sequence settings here. So I just have a custom one saved here, it's called 1080. Um, I edit all my videos in 1080p and I record all my footage in 1080p. So I recommend you guys keep it consistent when you're editing and recording. You wanna keep everything the same resolution, same frame rate. So yeah, all my clips um, from like my recordings are in 1080, um, 60 FPS. So I recommend keep it whatever you record at. Um, so in here, 1920 by 1080, um, 60 frames a second, square pixels, no fields, progressive scan, 60 FPS, and then sample rate, audio, depends on what you have set in your system and also what you're recording at. So just a quick tip, go into your control panel. Once you're here, you want to type sound and then click on sound, go to your headset, make sure that this is set to 48,000 kilo or hertz go here set this to 48,000 hertz as well so make sure your microphone and your headphones are both at the same sample rate and also make sure when you're recording in your uh, recording program like if you use OBS make sure audio bitrate is set to the same as whatever you have set in here and then obviously when we're editing we're gonna make sure that it is set to whatever you had set earlier in my case 48,000 hertz um, everything else you can leave default with height make sure 1920 1080 or whatever else you're using um, but I would just recommend 1920 by 1080 and then these don't really matter too much because we're not going to be rendering with this uh, this is just like previews so just keep everything here default is fine uh, tracks don't really matter you can always add tracks while you're editing and then VR doesn't matter because we are not working in VR so uh, once you have all of that set, you can click save preset and then give it a name and it will pop up right here in custom presets for the future. Okay, after that, we're gonna edit our video, you know, blah, 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 we're editing our video. Once our video is done editing and we're ready to render, we're gonna go to file, export, media, and this is where the render settings get applied. So. In my case, I am using H.264. I feel like that's the best format to use so for YouTube. Um, so make sure you're using H.264. And then preset, I have a custom preset here called 1440. Um, I would recommend choosing this YouTube preset and then we're gonna be changing stuff in this preset right here. So choose this. I'm just gonna go back to here so I can know my settings. But the reason we want to render at 1440, okay? So it doesn't matter if your video is 720p or 1080p. We edited in that resolution and everything, but when we render, we want to upscale it to 1440. And the reason we're doing that is because, because of the, I explain it in my video about pixelation. So just watch that. But basically, simply explained, if you render a video in 1080p or below 1080p, it will, YouTube will format it as an AVC video, meaning that it's gonna be pixelated and it's just not the best quality. What we want is the VP09 codec that YouTube uses and they only give that out to either videos that get a lot of views or they give it out to videos that are 1440p and above, so like 4K videos, which is why we're rendering at 1440 so that YouTube is forced to give us the VP09 codec so that our videos look as clean as possible and as crisp as possible with the least amount of pixelation. So that's why we're rendering at 1440, um, simply explained. So yeah, make sure in this basic video settings, we're rendering at 2560 by 1440. Um, and then uncheck this. Frame rate, we want it at 60. Doesn't matter if this is checked or not. This just goes off uh, like your sequence settings, which we already had set to 60. So we're going to be running our 60 FPS, um, square pixels, oops, square pixels, 
render at maximum depth have this checked um, all it does is make your video quality better just takes a little bit longer to render profile high level 5.1 and then we want constant bitrate we're going for 50 megabits per second so just set that to 50 and yeah that's it for this tab go to audio we want AAC oops and then obviously the sample rate set it to whatever you had set in your windows keep it consistent channel stereo audio quality high obviously um, and then audio bitrate anything above 160 is good honestly you could put this at 160 to be honest but I just like it at 3 256 so that's why I have it there and then make sure bitrate is checked here and that's it the rest of these don't matter at all and after you have all these settings set you want to check use a maximum render quality and then after that you're done all you have to do is click save preset and then save it um, and then you're good to go and then literally once it's saved press export oh uh, you can choose where you want it saved just click right here output name click here and then you can choose where you want it saved um, after that export also make sure these two are checked because if you don't check export audio let's say then you won't have any audio in your video so yeah um, that's pretty much it those are my render settings for Adobe Premiere for YouTube for the best quality and uh, yeah hope this helped I'll see you guys in the next video peace out